Ascension 25. The final Ascension. Until I need more content and then I make more. Uh, th the final Ascension. One last shot. And the Ironclad do it again. He took down Ascension 23. He took down Ascension 24. And he take down Ascension 25 today. Watch until the end. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the content. Give it a like. Give it a comment. Subscribe. If you're not already subbed, I'm going to be done with this stupid act. I love you to death, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Let's slap one more try today. One more try on the good character. Fast P. You know what they say about me, baby. If there's anything I can do, it's P really, really. Holy sh**. Cat, we might not be playing across the obelisk today. Happy P. Bravo combo. Put the concentrated fist. I am bulletproof. Stop. I'm a pretty big deal, Jeff. <laughs> we are pretty big deals. We, together. You and me, Twitch chat, together. We cannot be stopped. Do I want to take 18 damage right now? I could also roll, see if we get the big. Big, big, huge, big, mega big. Same amount of damage, but now we get three block, dude. What is that? Three whole fucking block? Are you kidding me? Boom! Stream elements this, and slay this, and oh wait, I forgot to say hello. I have some bits to spend now. Yo. I didn't want to bring back that. No, I didn't mean to bring back that. I didn't mean to bring that back. That's too much D, man. That was too much D. That was a mistake. I meant to bring back the war cry, dude. I meant to bring back the damn war cry. Okay. Roughly 300 Stop. average viewers a year ago. Your yeah. growth by playing the same game for the most time just means your content is awesome. I don't even think I play the same game all the time. I mean, I've been playing a lot of Slay Spire recently, but as, like, as of like mega recently. Yeah, we're, we're losing money here. Stonks going boom! We stay winning. We be out here staying winning. Give me the offering now. Offering me right now. This is Omega Cringe, man. I can't believe you would do this. Yeah, what if I... What if we play Corruption? We actually look at our Exhum now. We bring back Warcry. This is on purpose. Double trouble, baby. Double trouble. Boom. 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 It's like he's trying to speak to me. I know it. Uh, armor mints me. He's gaming now. <laughs> I was fucking born to game. We could take 275 here and then... No, we have no potions. Can we beat this elite with no potions? What are the odds we take down that elite with regret and no potions? Like 0%, right? With regret, I think I think it's like really, really hard. I think without regret, we would have a really solid chance. A true gamer never knows the odds. Bro, you're so right, man. Big. I'm actually going to say take... Give me this this turn. Give me this next turn. I'm actually going to say it. Give me it next turn. Hey, Berserk is fantastic. I think upgrading Juggernaut is probably pretty good. So you upgrade Juggernaut. Play Juggernaut. Play this so it doesn't get destroyed. And now we're fucking swinging on him. We're going to be vulnerable next turn, but I think that's okay. Because we, we get a lot of blocks sometimes. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. We're okay. We're okay, chat. We're okay. You're okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. 
Going back to when I started watching Frost, chat struggled keeping the subscriber count at 4,200, now it's at 7,800. Peon. Yeah, 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 boom, easy W. Easy W. Battle trance? Battle trance me. Upgrade? Armaments. Okay. Shop? 376 gold. Brimstone? There's no way you're taking Brimstone here. There's like not a fucking chance you're taking Brimstone. I mean, we're definitely removing this. This is always happening. There's like, there's like, there's like no way we're taking Brimstone. No, it's not Windstone. Do not call it Windstone. That's not happening. There is a Barricade and a Body Slam here. There is also a Red Skull. Red Skull's pretty fucking good. Red Skull's kind of fucking pogged up. But also take a Truy Grit. Truy Grit's also really good. I think Uppies is also fu fucking fantastic. I'm gonna take an Uppies. Okay. Where do you want to go from here? Probably something like this. This is a difficult act, man. Hey guys, it's me, the Act Man. And today I'm gonna talk about Halo again. We're at 52. Oh, we've been at 52, dog. Get with the times. Imagine not knowing that we're at 52, am I right? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. I remember my days at 51. Loser that guy was. This could be a rest here. Rest me. Don't arrest me, but rest me. Don't arrest me, though. This is not... I was not asking to be arrested. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Wee Woo, you're under arrest. Yeah, but that's only if you can catch me, then proceeds to run really fucking fast. Oops, I should have played Juggernaut. Don't care, didn't ask. Thunderclap, Iron Wave, second anger. I think I like the Iron Wave. Hello, Tri Sentries. How are you? Energy Potion! <gasps> I'm in Red Skull range. Perfect. Perfect. It's exactly where I wanted to be. Boom! Yeah, we don't take any damage to this fight anymore. Immediately took damage because of the... Uh Brutality. What an idiot streamer this guy is. Am I right, chat? We should all point and laugh at how dumb he is. Singing bowl? People riot? Please don't people rioting. Please don't riot. Stop rioting. I'll get scared, man. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Essence of steel. Since if I'm going to steal your heart, champ. All right. We definitely need to rest before going into this. This deck's going to be weird against Awakened One. It's only weird if you make it weird. So stupid. All right. We, we, we pulled the anger out of the bag. It is what it is. It, it's happening. Armaments. Fucking awesome. Metallicize. Omega awesome. Berserk. Berserk was played. J 
Juggernaut doing work here, baby. Jug me. Jug me, tug me. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? One in the chat if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> really don't want to play that brutality. I need a true grit to get rid of the things that I don't want to play. Or like a like it just something. Something that allows me to discard the cards that I'm not wanting to play at the current moment. Can't say that I do. Oh. That's fine. I want to keep as much health as I possibly can. Yep. Or just find Tungsten Rod. Yeah, just find a rare relic, man. What are you, dumb? <laughs> just find the rare one. Looking for Frost to make sense. Shut up, Two Menace. might be our uh, essence of steel just find it for head this is not an essence of steel do I want to play brutality no the shit hand can I get away next turn with having Berserk off? Because I need to play some of these cards. I need some of these cards gone. 53! Holy fucking balls, I've cummed. Chat, hold me. There's cum in my pants. To me, Daddy. Pick one. Oh, I'll fact you, Wesley Snipes. Okay. Next time corruption goes around, we throw it in there. Would I take a rage? I would take a rage, yeah. Ow. Uh. <laughs> owie, owie. This is only minus three HP. Okay, it was minus six HP. All right, so this is dangerous. We do get to play this though freely. It's nice. This is a dangerous place, man. We're in a dangerous place. It is what it is, you know. Sometimes you gotta live dangerously. I'm gonna live omega dangerously. <gasps> Boom! First okay. day of class today. Yo. Had a four minute video explaining how a four stroke internal combustion engine works with the TTS guy narrating. All I could think of was chat the entire time. Learned nothing. Did you hear that, chat? They were thinking about you. How does it make you feel? You don't think about us, Stanley. <laughs> I didn't say I was. I, I, it wasn't me. <laughs> limit? There's a limit and we could break through it? There's a limit that I can I can break through is what you're saying? It would do really, really well if we found Reaper. I'm gonna take the limit break. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing and it's not a bing bong. I'm gonna do the thing and it's not to take bing bong. Coward.
<clears throat> Here. Oh, wait. You want me to do a... Uh, you want me to do a, a, a solo Renekton only impression? All right, I got it. First, before we... Before no, I do my... Here, you little shit. Yeah. Your life rust plot. All right, to do the solo Renekton only impression, you need to... Um, uh, turn up the gain of your microphone to start as high as possible. And then take your microphone and aim it towards your keyboard. Now, now that I have done that, um, <clears throat> boom, what up, Soul Renekton and only back at it again with a little ironclad axiom. We're gonna be playing them up in the top lane as you already know. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking now for the rest of the video. How much to do a stream duo with Solar and Acton? He's a little bit of a goofster, man. A little bit of a gaffster, isn't he? I know him and Aaron are good friends. And I like Aaron. This is good. It's like if Trick 2 Dree's kid grew up to do a solo Renekton only impression. Why am I Trick 2G's child in this situation? This makes no sense. Why, why am I Trick 2G's kid? You do good impressions? Thanks. Yeah, shrug me. Shrug me. Every time I hear Trick 2G somewhere, I instantly hear him screaming in my brain. I love Trick, man. Like, I don't get emotional a lot of times on the stream. That's a lie. I don't get emotional oftentimes. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I really like Trick. Like, as a person... I, 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 I think Trick is like one of the best there is. Yeah. I want to play this. I'm going to take a little damage in this fight. I'll forever love his hairline. Insert low-hanging joke here. Combo strike's okay. I don't think I need it, though. I could actually take this. Because we don't have much else that I want to remove. And we do get to see our new curse. I just hear Trick going crazy when I play an assist. Trick is actually like a really, really um, socially anxietal person. And he doesn't really openly, like outwardly talk about it. But I, I figured that out when I was going to a convention in Virginia. Um, and like he and I were sitting downstairs together in the lobby. He didn't know who I was at the time. We were meeting for the first time. I was like a 100,000 sub uh, league YouTuber. We were sitting on the lobby. We were talking. I was like, yo, I'm like also... Uh, you know, this was back when he still lived on a boat, by the way. He, he didn't, he wasn't, he wasn't living in Richmond where I was living. And I was like, yeah, like I'm another Virginia content creator. And he's like, oh, really? Dope. That's sick, man. And he's like, uh, yeah, like we should definitely like work something out and like, you know, make some work out and like do, do content together. And like right in the middle of us talking about that sort of shit, someone busted in the door with a bunch of their like friends behind them. And they go, yo! Trick's here! And Trick just like his face just went flush white and he immediately left and went upstairs and then actually from that left the convention and drove home. So. I got a regal pillow. That helps out a lot. This helps out a lot. It's 
So like, yeah. Uh, and then whenever we ended up do, I'm going to take this too. Then whenever we ended up doing the, um, the Twitch rivals together, he and I like re re met up, right? Like restarted kissing and stuff. We like start, we had like a couple of like really long conversations for like a really long time on discord about like content and all this shit. Uh, this is awesome. Um, yeah. And it was just like really, really, really nice to like get to know him more. And he, yeah, he was like, talk. we were just, we had like a heart to heart. I'm not going to talk about any of the stuff that was in that talk because it was private, but it was a heart to heart, you know, like when you have a heart to heart with someone, you know what I'm talking about. It was, it was a heart to heart. Let's upgrade the feel no pain. I think that's really important. I was comfortable with that too. Cause the Gamba brew here. This is a fucking wash right now. Hello? Help? Snego? What are you doing, buddy? Why you got to make everything cause so much? Uh, what are you doing? Gamba. And we do a little gamba. Uh, hit him with one of these. Then you hit him with one of these. You put this back on the bottom. And then you hit him with one of these. <laughs> Fuck. Sneko doing the funnies. Yeah, he do kind of be doing the funnies. Wow, Sneko. You're so quirky. Sorry, says the guy named Praise Sneko in chat. You fucking should be sorry. Sentinel's fucking insanely good. That is like insanely good. Thank you, Sneko, for giving that to me. Chat, once again, Praise Sneko, please. Turnip? Nip is short for nipples. Now this ironclad has rock hard nipples and can't be stopped. Spelling your right, but not putting the apostrophe just tells me how lazy of a person you are. I respect it. I'm not... I ain't even upset about it. It just shows, you know? <laughs> You're just like outward ye outwardly yelling. Just outwardly yelling about how much you can't fucking be bothered. I'd love a calipers here, game. If you're willing to offer me anything in the book right now, I'll take a calipers right now. I have no more cards in my deck. Have you guys notice that? <laughs> Slam them. All right, twenty percent chance that we're getting attacked this turn. Twenty percent, twenty percent, twenty percent, twenty percent. Always lucky, never punish. The streamer's incredible. This streamer is so good. I'm about to gift him five subs. <clears throat> got a gifted sub. Guess I got to be here now. Oh, no. That's the worst, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can somebody go and gift him a sub? Damn it. I'd hate for you to feel like you had to be here. I'd like that barricade now that we saw in that shop. Am I going to beat Ascension 21 or 20, 20, what is it? 23, 24, and 25 all with the Ironclad. Does that prove that the Ironclad is the best character in the game? If I do that.
U or R O U E your A Y your your. Ipo Jing. I learned nothing. That's really bad. Oh no. I might die here. <laughs> yep. That was bad. That wasn't good. I have to replay my offering. kill you no I guarantee at least hello berserk you're in a red skull range though oh yo big though Um, help. Help me. Hey, thanks for the help. Get him, Mercury Hourglass. Take him out. Shrug number three. Heal me. Dream catch time. I catch another DE. Another. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm losing my fucking mind. Uh <laughs> the plus on it doesn't matter at all because we have Sneko, but. Boom. Big. And he did it. He caught the. No! It was the craziest fucking thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. How does he do it? How does he catch the. No! Is this getting old yet? Is this bit getting old? Here from the YouTubes. What up? Wait, are you here from the YouTubes or the YouTubes? Which one? <laughs> okay, that was your last one. Don't do it ever again. My bad, dog. My bad. We could also take the rupture, but I don't think we need strength. I don't think strength is really uh, where we're hurting all that much. Josh, you think with a hot brand new one, man. Really appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Can't just say it that quietly. I hate that. I hated that. I hated every second of that, man. I really didn't like how quietly that was said. I didn't do the math on my energy. I hated how quiet that was. Duh. I can't be frailed, you idiot. You dumbass. All right, hit me. Corrupt me. Corrupt me, but don't play anything because I really want to get Juggernaut and play. Do I run on Duncan? Do I look like a guy that just runs?
Duncan Diff. Here's the Juggernaut. Can I get an upgrade, please? Hey, yo, can I get an upgrade, please? Big no. Is there anything I need to bring back? Like, that's just better to bring back? I don't really think so. Nothing in particular. How do we deal damage? Trap. We're not really dealing enough damage, are we? Are we dead? Did I need that thing after all? Mr. Banner. Now's about a good time to get angry. Dr. Banner. How's about you uh, get angry? <laughs> Dr. Banner. <laughs> it's about a time that you, we could use a little bit of hanging. Yo, Jesse. Why didn't Stremmer get the thing earlier? He's just not built different is really what it is, man. Hey, Frost. Thanks for all the poggy content, Frost Dance. Of course. Boom. This was the plan all along. Wipe him out, Juggernaut. Gah! Boss number one dead. Jesse, they give the fucking two months. I appreciate you a lot, man. Get some love in the chat, please, and thank you. Otherwise, I'm going to cry to death in a video game. Gundle Pain Plus always costs three. Run Something to do that. Run over what? Are you telling me to roll over? Is that what you meant to say? Did you meant to, did you mean to say roll over? No, fifty four signups. I go dot factor seventy five. Dat cam. Dat. That's the offering. I probably am gonna play two offerings in this one. Thank you very much. I don't know if I want to play it right now. I don't have to play you, but it doesn't really do anything. I'll play this. Yep. 54. What is that? Getting the upgrade on Juggernaut, I think, is insane. Big zoom, limit break, limit break. Get the hell out of my fucking face, dog. Dog. Do I speak more languages? Uh, I took... Uh, so, I took four years of Spanish, technically. 
But my second year of Spanish, my teacher was a meth addict that got arrested the year that I was uh, after I had her. She didn't teach us. <laughs> um, she, she, she just gave us like pages in the book every single day to learn. And so I'm I, I'll be honest for a second. I'm not trying to brag. I'm good at school. I'm not necessarily a smart guy because if we're honest, being smart doesn't equal good at school. There's plenty of people who are really smart, but really bad at school. But uh, yeah, I went to the guidance counselor and I was like, hey, you know, it, it's not, I'm not like a learning Andy, but I'm like, this woman clearly has something wrong. We have her in first period and she comes in shaking irritable. And the days that she's not shaking and irritable, she smells weird. <laughs> like it was like, I was concerned for my fellow students safety because when she was irritable, I mean irritable, like if you asked a question, she would stand up and scream at you. And this was before the day and age where we regularly had cell phones available in class and people were more open about recording teachers, things like that. So I went to the guidance counselor, I was like, hey, this is happening. Instead of them dropping in on her class at random, they told her, hey, in a week, we're gonna sit in on your class. And so she prepared a lesson and that was the one day that year that we actually had a teacher. Uh, and then the next year she came into school, like clearly, very drugged out and got arrested and uh i no one's ever heard of her since and my guidance counselor the next time i met with her was like hey uh so talking about so and so <laughs> sorry and i was like yeah so but i'm good at school i'm very good at school meaning i'm very good at cramming information to be able to learn to pass a test and then uh uh and then canning the, the information out of my head so i did manage to pass three years of, of spanish in, in, in high school and then one year in college. So I don't know anything. Now you have an interesting story, but yeah, but now I'm not bilingual. I would love to still be able to speak Spanish. I had a Spanish teacher that got in trouble for uh, or for child sexual abuse. Dude, I had a teacher that also got, okay, transitionary. Before we get in this fight, before we get in this fight, I had a teacher too. There was a guy in elementary school. His name was Mr. Levi, Mr. Levi. All right, his last name was literally Levi, like copyrighted, I couldn't, you know, if I if my if I wanted to name my YouTube channel after myself, I would get banned. But his name was Mr. Levi, and Mr. Levi was one of those teachers that always wanted to seem cool in front of the kids. He was a fifth grade elementary school teacher. I think Levi is also a biblical name. Either way, doesn't matter. Copyrighted, DMCA. Mr. Levi. All right. In fifth grade, it was still the year. Fifth grade still the year where you have a single teacher for the entire year, and then sixth grade is where you get to middle school and you start rotating classes. Right, and so. For the like the last like quarter of that year, we started rotating classes to to um to like simulate what middle school is going to be like. We we started rotating our classes, and my my teacher, I think her name was Mrs. Cunningham, but uh, we started rotating classes. And so for math, that for the end of the year, I had Mr. Levi as my math teacher. And when I went into school one day, Mr. Levi, the first day, literally the first day, Mr. Levi, as I was coming in, was saying hello, good to meet you, yeah, hello, hello, hello looks to me and said, yo, what up? What's your name? Reaches out his hand to shake my hand. I said, I'm Tristan. Good to meet you. He said, all right, take a seat. Mr. Levi's like four foot 11 on a good day. Little short little guy, but wanted to seem cool in front of all the kids. And he, he definitely picked the coolest guy to seem cool in front of. I was a safety, not gonna lie. Next day, I remembered that interaction. I was like, Mr. Levi seems pretty dope he liked me everyone else he said hello to me he said hey yo he said hey yo what's up and so what did i do second day of school i walk into the class and i go hey yo what's up mr levi his response don't ever speak like that to your to, to the teacher ever again don't ever think that that's okay do you understand me speak to me with respect i didn't like mr levi anymore Mr. Levi not only was a fifth grade teacher who was in his young 30s, Mr. Levi was also a middle school volleyball coach. It came out in my freshman year of high school that apparently he liked to sit in the locker room and make sure that they behaved as they changed. It was a woman's locker room. He was arrested and he has not been let out yet. I don't like Mr. Levi. Yeah. Automation patiently waiting for you to finish <laughs> your stories. What a good guy. You see Automaton's reaction? That was my reaction too. I was like, fuck man, what the hell? Hey Frost, it's Mr. Levi. 
don't think I wouldn't, I forgot Kimba, what you said I to me. I know that it's like funny when like people like impersonate the people from my stories. I don't think you want to be Mr. Levi. We we fast forward now in the middle school, seventh grade. <clears throat> I got I got another story to tell. Let me go after you, Drew Job. Here's my turn. My story. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. We had a, an algebra teacher. This guy was fresh out of out of college, right? Dude was like 24, 25 years old. And so naturally, he wanted to seem cool. I get that. He was an algebra teacher. He wanted to seem cool. But as time went on, it kind of became a cool of like how you guys think I'm cool. Where it's like, you think that I'm cool, but you want to make fun of me, right? But he didn't like that people wanted to make fun of him because he would tell funny stories. He'd be like, yeah, I like, so going to my car this morning, I like tripped on the curb and I fell and hurt my knee, right? And then we'd be like, ha 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 ha, how's your knee, idiot, right? Because we thought he was cool. So we thought like, we thought, oh my God, he's the homie. We can, we can make fun of him. He didn't like that. And he got really butthurt and defensive, which is a bad thing to do because it makes vindictive little kids want to wanna bully you more. That's how bullying works. I tried to commit suicide three times. I would know. Anyways, but he still tried to be the cool teacher in between like getting angry at people. And then for two weeks, he told us that he had a, and I quote, major surgery coming up. Major surgery, okay? And he told us he had a major surgery coming up and that he was gonna be out for a week, okay? He didn't tell us what it was. He just told us major surgery. And I think that he didn't tell us what it was because when he started using the term major surgery, we started calming down, right? Naturally, you tell, hey, I've got cancer. We're probably not gonna bully you as much. It is what it, you know what I'm saying? Like it, you tell someone that you've got something going on in your life and people tend to calm down and be a little bit more compassionate towards you. Just the way that the world works. We're human beings, we're flawed. Three days, two days, somewhere very close to his procedure, and I know it was close because you had rotating classes, right? And so it was like, here's, it's my class. It's your, it, it's my, I have like A, B, C, D classes on one day. E, C, E, D, E, F, whatever the fuck alphabet sucks uh, the next day, right? And so it was the last time that we were going to see him before his surgery. And finally, someone said, yo, by the way, is it okay if we ask what type of surgery you're getting? Again, remember, major surgery. He said, yeah. I have an ingrown toenail that needs to be surgically removed. Don't get me wrong. I'm sorry that you, that happened. It probably hurts a lot, but major surgery, taking a week off from being a teacher, it's not the most physically intensive class or it was physically intensive job to be an algebra teacher. Don't get me wrong. They are painful. I've had ingrown toenails that don't require to get surgery and they're already painful enough, but like major surgery. And so naturally, what did we do? <laughs> we, for the last 30 minutes of class in our hour long period, started shitting all over the guy. Cause you've been gaslighting us for the last two weeks. That this was an intense procedure that we need to feel sorry for you about. And in turns, it was an, it was an elective surgery to get your fucking toe scraped on. Still very painful. Sorry to hear that. It, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg because teachers aren't paid very well. You have good healthcare sometimes though. Either way, started making fun of him. And his biggest bully, his biggest bullies were always the girls of the class. The girls that had like a little bit more gall to go toe and toe to the teacher. Because he wasn't, you know, naturally, it is, it, the sexism of whatever. The teachers never are, are is, is, is harsh. On the, on the women in terms of, of, of like, you know, getting angry at them, punishing them as quickly, yada, 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 right? They, they, they're softer on the girl. And he was no exception until today. <laughs> until today, he no longer was having it. Toe to toe, get it? You got it. He no longer was having it when a girl named Ashley, love Ashley, she was in my vet class the next year or in, uh, in high school. When Ashley started mouthing off to him. And finally, five minutes before the class ends, he said, Ashley, you're going to stay after class. And naturally, we as kids, we all crowd outside of the classroom. 
waiting for Ashley to come out to learn the juicy details of whatever happened. And finally, Ashley, we hear we hear loud noises, right? Like him getting loud, him was muffled. Ashley opens the door, stomps out, pulls her book bag around. He goes, I'm not done talking to you yet. Grabs her by her ponytail and yanks her back into the room. He didn't get his surgery on time because he was in jail for a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, he, he, he spent a couple of days in jail. And uh, I don't think he, he, he got major charges against him, but he definitely no longer was a teacher. <laughs> probably, <laughs> he probably died because of his ingrown toenail. Dude, no, the, the, best, the best story that I've ever had about any sort of teacher. All of my stories about math teachers, by the way, because here's another one. Geometry teacher. Name was Mr. White. We called him coach because he was like a, I think he was, he was a basketball coach. I'm not sure. Anyway, we called him coach. Um, he was our geometry teacher. He was also the, he was also the head of the board game club. And I was big into the board game club. Either way, I was also really good at math. Uh, in his class, he was very buddy buddy with the kids. He had a, he was he was really good at uh, everybody was poked fun at, and there was no limit. Like he would go as far as you would. For example, he we had him for our lunch period, and lunch period was a double class length and really long because there was four periods for lunch, four different times that people would go to lunch. We were the fourth period for lunch, so we got lunch way fucking later. Uh, we had the fourth lunch block. So we had to do an hour and a half of class. Well, an hour of class, 30 minutes of study hall. Then we got lunch. So naturally people got hungry. And if you ate in his class, he would not only take the food away from you, he would eat it in front of you. You can't, you can't be more metal than that as a teacher. Like that's about as hard as you can go as a teacher. He was actually based as fuck. He would just take your sandwich out of your hands and eat it in front of you, in front of the whole class. And everybody would point and laugh. But he was a good guy. And this is how I knew he was a good guy. Because he always had this like, you know that mindset of like someone's not listening to you and you can't quite tell if they're like not listening to you or if they are. And you don't know if they're like retaining the information that you're telling them. He always had that attitude of like, like doing a thousand things while you're talking to him and never making eye contact with you. So you don't know if he's listening, right? You don't know if he's listening. And I ate it. I'm skipping your donos. I always ate in his class. Because my mom would pack me a big a big bag of Chex Mix. I was a swimmer. I needed calories. And so I would have a big bag of Chex Mix, basically a Ziploc bag filled to the brim, puffed up and everything. But what I would do is I sat way off to the side of the class. And I would take a piece of Chex Mix. I would put it in my mouth. And I would just sit there staring at him, take my notes, wait for it to start to melt so that I could chew it with my tongue without making any noises. Goaded strat never was caught ate every day for an entire year the next year sophomore year of high school i was a part of board game club so i would come back to board game club coach white was there because he's the head of it and i told him i was like you know i ate in your class every day and it was one of those moments where he was like grading papers at the time and he's like oh really oh really you did so i didn't think he retained the information right i just told him in passing i ate your uh i i, I ate every day in your class and i got away with it then for Two years, two years, we played board games every single week, sometimes twice a week. We went to a board gaming convention together and we played werewolf with like 75 people. It was awesome. It was dope. We were homies, right? His favorite food, his favorite snack, the thing that could always win him over was cherry Jolly Rancher. Were they cherry or strawberry? Which ones are they? Are they cherry or are they strawberry? Which I don't remember. Either way, the red one, not the watermelon. He loved the red watermelons. Both exist. Either way, it was one of the reds. It was one of the reds. And so I bought one of those bags of 100 Jolly Ranchers, and I picked out all of the red ones, and I put them back in. I put them in a Ziploc bag so he could see them as I handed them to him. In, in my junior year of high school, I handed it to him, and I said, can you write me a college recommendation? And this man looked at me, knowing that his entire, his entire con had paid off, and he said, I will not be doing that because you ate in my class. He didn't, he, he literally said, I'm not gonna write it because you ate in my class. I was like, are you serious? He was like, yeah, you ate in my class. You need, you need a repercussion from that. Two, and I was like, dude, it was two years ago. We've literally gone to a convention together. We hang out every week. Like 
I'm like at this point I'm like fucking 18, right? Like I'm I'm like I'm an adult at this point. I'm like we're homie. Like we're I've met your kids. Like and he's like, "Yeah, but like it's funnier if I do this and less work for me." <laughs> I had to get my recommendation from the creepy algebra teacher. <laughs> I had to get the recommendation from the Ashley Darling guy. <laughs> Imagine better better him not write you one than him write you a bad one. That's true. He could have done the other way. He could have written me a bad one on purpose. All of the kids in my middle school growing up said one of the teachers humped doorknobs. No idea where the hell that one came from, but he was what? kinda weird. Was he like hump doorknobs weird though? Or like just like normal weird? Like you and I weird. I was gifted a sub before, so you benefited me. <laughs> Alright, alright. Alright. I, I see, I see where we're Your going with this. Kept me going and these stories are great. Also, hey, board love, dude. games are cool. Play board games board are games, cool. guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Play more board games. We here at France Prime Industries play too many board games. Imagine subbing. Alright, man. Just hurt me, actually, is what I meant to say. It's just, like, hurt me. Punch me in the face right now. Also, Andrew likes board games, so... If you don't like board games, that's saying you don't like Andrew. And that, to me, is uh, a crime worthy of heck. This, this is what passes for content these days. You really think it's as simple as me adding in I Am The Storm? Formulia, thank you for the four months. Oh, this. Keep up the good work. Good Wait, the fight's over? <laughs> Wait, you could have just done that the whole fucking time? We do not have time to give the game a solid look-see. I'm taking that, by the way. I'm taking the thing. <sighs> That's a hard choice, man. Ah, uh, thought and good to see you doing I well. Agree. What a you are? Hammer. That's great news. Us rich people need to keep being happy, you know. Anyway, have a great rest of the day. Uh, rich person, sorry, I don't uh, refer to anyone as rich unless they're top of the day. Can I bait him? Can I bait him? Can I bait him? Can I bait him? Do you think I can bait him? Do you think I can do the bait? Wait, why are you guys all attacking? What the hell? Stop. You didn't have to do that. Ah! Oh! Slam him. Blam him. Ham him. If I'd never done a tour of my board game collection, don't really have many, man. I went from, uh, I went from high school of having all of the board games at my fingertip, courtesy of the club. Chat support your streamer by heading over to go.factor75.com and use a lovely streamer's code to get $130 off across six boxes. It'd be so crazy. That's like so much money. Like so much. Okay, yeah, this is what happens every single time. Every single time that you ask, you demand gameplay over me being a human being in a community. Uh, this is what happens, but to my heart. Uh. It's like you don't love me. Dustfire, thank you for the seven months. Be hey, parasocial. Chat. Hey, Frost. <laughs> Hi. Hope you all are doing absolutely golden. Don't I'm doing good, man. Twitch primes. Ted, don't forget your Twitch primes. Good fight, good fight. I mean, Iron Wave Plus or Body Slam? 
It's probably body slam, right? Because we can build up a bunch of block on one turn and then slam you. Hey, Frost. Hope with my body. A great I can put day. my body on Thanks you. Thanks for keeping up that quality content less than three. I don't want this. Do I want that? Because, like, removing Sneka would allow... If I, like, haven't drawn Body Slam for it to always cost zero. And then we can just, like, keep drawing seven every turn. I really think I want to take this. Because, like, a Corruption still goes off, right? Take that and that. We have to go very spooky scary route. Here. Had to use the business expense card. <laughs> yeah. I think I can just go ahead and hit it. I think we can just hit it, man. Hit me. All right. No more Sneko confusion. Chad, I'm no longer confused. I know my true feelings for you. And it's that I love you. My first time message. My first time message is wide people masturbation. 777-69420 gang shit. No more Fortnite. 19 now the Fortnite card. That's awesome, man. Live your, live your fullest dream, you know? Live your dream to the fullest, my friend. Who am I to tell you not to live your dream of being a $19 Fortnite card? Boom! There's the body slam poggers. Flame me. Rest. I love the true good if it was upgraded. Plus two max HP. It is always funny how often people fuck up the spam. It's like, wow, no, you look dumb. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Is a potion situation right here? Boom, 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 boom. Draw me everything. Body slam still down there. Sneko, gone. Here we go, baby. Oh, Mako! That's, uh, that's, um, Raleigh from Pacific Rim. What's Pacific Rim? <laughs> this is fantastic. Sentinel 2? I don't think I need Sentinel 2, right? Grounding and Diamond. You realize we fight all three Act 3 bosses, right, man? We're playing on Ascension 25. Why not take Sentinel 2? Uh, because before it exhausts, it's really not that good. And we don't, like, have, like, a... If we had, like, a, a True Grit or, um, like, a Burning Pact, I'd be really, 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 really interested in taking a second one. But Max HP seems cool, too. God, I don't want to know about how attractive you think Donu and Dekka are, Okay. I'm telling you that right now, I really, really don't want to know. And from the corner of Chuck's side, they see the voluptuous rounding. problem with diamond and roundy is that they're just so incredibly attractive i can't go a minute without thinking of roundy's supple arms swinging from side to side or imagining the hot and steamy edges of diamond i actually think that you can do exactly what you were just describing Dude, give me the upgraded one already, man. <clears throat> I 
No, <laughs> oh, Chad, he's right. <laughs> Entrench waiting room. And if I said I've been waiting for you my entire life, what would you say? I want to play two cards here. Um, so that we draw with Ink Bottle before we play Battle Trance. I have the best chance of not getting owned here, but we're going to get owned here. And by owned, I mean take three damage. Ow! Pellets cleared, no draw. What? Pellet still allows you to draw. Shrug number 17 billion. Damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping it would cost less. Oh, they meant the no draw debuff. I want you to know that I don't care you stubbed your toe. Why would you say that shit, dog? Huh? I got feelings. And the family. The fact that that's a body slam plus is actually kind of bad, isn't it? Like, it's actually a little bad. Yeah, it's because you can't decrease the cost. Yeah. Because I can't decrease my cost. Uh... All right. Hit me with one of these. And hit me with one of these. Then hit me with one of these. And then one of these. Damn it. I needed one more spell to play. Are you serious? <laughs> it's okay. We got caliper. But it's just fun. We have the calipers. We have the technology, chat. We have technology. Technology do really be scary sometimes, right? Got an Akabeko. Dark Embrace 3. Don't think so. No, I will not be taking the third Dark Embrace. Chan, I'm getting a call from potential spam. Which one of you is it? Be honest. You can't say it's all you. That would make no sense. That would literally be impossible. How could it be all of you at the same time, man? How? How could it be all of you? Yo, dog, I need, like, an attack I can play. <laughs> That's not an attack I can play. I'm calling to inform you of your vehicle's extended warranty. Right. Your social security number was flagged. But I can't run very fast. Will that be a problem or will you give me a head start? I 
Heavy Blade's not terrible. Not a fan of you, my friends. We should be able to clear the debuff, though, pretty easily. Uh, unless... Never mind. Rather take three or we take zero. I'm going to take zero, uh, one, because you're going to take the damage next turn. I'll take the one. I'll take the one, I guess. If I have to, woe is me. My life sucks. Nothing is happy. <gasps> Boo! <laughs> Shrug number 87. Heal 20, become cursed. Fuck, this deck got calipers. It did a little bit, yeah. <laughs> it did like a little bit of calipers, yeah. Dude, dude. Yeah. Okay, so like I wanted to cost a zero uppercut. It's just cringe that you couldn't do that for me, you know? Like, it just shows that you don't fucking care about me at the end of the day, dude. Like, it, it shows, man. Like, it shows, dude. Why don't you have a mummified hand? Oh, I'm sorry. Why is my corruption not being drawn is the real question here. Yeah, I'd like to know why the fuck I haven't drawn my corruption yet. Diamond Uta Randy Gasuki, I love you, Diamond and Roundy. Isn't that awesome? I have to I have to exhume the offering. If I would like to play it. It's worth it. So now we just win. Gotta take money to make money. <laughs> this is not financial advice. Dude, I wanted to draw that. Just look at those arms. So muscular, they can't even touch the side. All right, that's boss number one. Hello, boss number two. A better start, at least. Slightly, at least, at the very least. All right. Lock in our prices. Okay, hello. All right, we don't want to play this here. Does this deck have any strength for limit break? Yeah. Yeah, 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 it does. And it's pretty fucking awesome.
It also does have demon form. That is true. I don't use it that much, though. <laughs> I don't use the demon form that much, so I don't think about it. Do this before we reshuffle the deck. Oh! You know what I'm saying? Was Demon Form a transform? No, I took it. I did, in fact, click on the Demon Form. Ascension 23 1 with a barricade entrench body slam deck. Ascension number 24 1 with a barricade entrench body slam deck. Ascension number 25 1 with a calipers body slam deck. Possibly. Maybe. Don't hold your breath, but hold your breath. Can't hold your breath. <gasps> and release. Four damage. Ow! Yep. Release me. Okay, we debuffed. We're going to draw eight cards this turn. We, we got rid of the debuffs. So we're going to draw eight cards this turn. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really pogged. We can play you as well. Yeah. Cool, cool. Like this. Big fan of it. I love the zero cost thing in my deck, man. It's awesome. Of my favorite things. Oh no, are you gonna deal some damage to me? Please don't. I'm gonna not like that. Wait, did all of the sub badges in my chat just go away? Does, does anybody else see this where no one has a sub badge? Is the veil being broken? Do they know now that I'm not actually an 8,000 sub streamer? Are they going to leave? Boom! Yeah, it looks weird on my end. 6,089 damage. Kaboom. Did hit the sub goal. We're actually past it. My alerts aren't updating today, so I haven't made another sub goal because I feel like that'd be scamming. We are actually at 7,809. All right, give me a card. Give me a good card. Honestly? 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 Dark Embrace number three, babe. No. YouTube. I do think Armaments 2 is good. This content that you're watching Not right now enough. has officially been given the Twitch chat seal of awesome content that you should awesome. come and watch the stream. Of awesome content. We can get over 100 HP here. I might take the strawberry just for the meme. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. 101 damage. It's time. Damage? Uh, HP, idiot. This is a lot of damage to take. I don't like this. Dies to act for leads. You don't say that, man. Don't say that. We could draw one card here, but become vulnerable. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. I think that's the smart thing to do. Is to not do that. Bad Tristan, you're so smart. This streamer really is the smartest of them all, huh? Blocking plus two. Hmm. 
Draw me. Bash me. Heal me. You mean with panographs? Even better than panographs, in my honest opinion. Even better than panographs, in my honest opinion. What if it's a dark embrace? We have so many powers. It's fucking incredible. It's just not, right? It's just not, ever. You just might be there. <laughs> I can feel it coming. <laughs> coming. We can play Berserk too, because we're going to cleanse all of our debuffs next turn, most likely. Yeah. Potions? Actually, uh, your back seating is wrong, all right? I only have one fucking potion, you dumbass. How could you say potions when I only got one? Idiot. The fuck in the back seat. I could also do this to try to draw an attack, but I think we'll just wait till next turn. We draw a card off this anyways. We got an exhum. We're good. What does the power button do on my rear view mirror? Uh, blows up the car. Press it. Do it. Do it, I fucking dare you. Please. I don't want to play all my stuff here. Um, we need to do this first. And now we can play all of our stuff. That sucks. Unless it doesn't suck. We don't really even need to play this, do we? So I'm sick. Us not having feel no pain in play kind of sucks. All right, now we got feel no pain in play. We want to go blow half HP before we play that for sure. Oops, that was a mistake. Demon form. Also got demon form. Do I have to fight three hearts now? Not quite. Just get here for the A25 win. There's a chance, man. There's also a chance, though, that we don't have enough block and we die. <clears throat> That's what I'm worried about right now. And I think that that might have come to fruition. I think by not getting the feel no pain off, we don't have enough damage.
super and good old classic. Yeah, we lose, man. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Because we didn't get the feel no pain off. And that's on me, honestly. That's, that's actually on me. Too busy having a good conversation with chat. Thought my deck was OP. We live to beat A25 another day. <laughs> Unfortunate, man. Good run, though. Good run. That was on me. I was having a conversation with chat and I wasn't focusing. <laughs>